Alright my friends, what is going on and welcome back. Welcome back to some more reaction videos. Today, it is the next day. Yesterday we got up to a guy, Logan Ryan. In fact it buzzed me up because this was the first free agent listed I've ever seen on this list. Now I'm not sure exactly what that means. Does that mean, no actually, what I'm assuming that means, and in fact looking at him right now, I better get the screen recorder going, um, but looking at Ryan he may be, he's sitting in the middle there. He is a cornerback. He's a free agent right now, which must mean he played for the Titans, got let go at the end of the season, and hasn't been picked up. Or at least that's how I see it. Now that was five months ago. He may have been picked up since. We're about to find out. But first, let's get into the video. I'm getting I'm in the game with tackles. Maybe you or two. I'm a girl. Come on, man. I'm on a different level. You know, I really buzzed out there because I thought his number was 7 6 for whatever reason. But that wouldn't make sense because cornerback can't be in the 70s, right? But he's all over the place. Another person that people don't really Logan Ryan to play for the Titans. Uh, he's a guy that makes a lot of plays. Logan has about a hundred tackles. He probably has more tackles than some middle linebackers in his league. For the record, Logan Ryan had 113 tackles. What? Last year as a cornerback? In the NFL for cornerbacks. Huh? Ryan had 113 tackles. Tops <laughs> in the NFL for cornerbacks. One of the reasons is that he plays all over the field. Hang on, I, I gotta see that flip. For the record, Logan Ryan had a hundred and Look at that. Yeah, you should not have hurdled, mate. I mean, you can always give the hurdle a go. But if you're coming up against Logan Ryan, he's going to not only take your legs, he's going to take your waist, he's going to go for your head, he's going to pick up the ball afterwards, he's probably going to punch it out like Mike Tyson. He's going to do it all. And this guy just jumped way, way too late. And he got flipped up for it. And 13 tackles. Tops in the <laughs> NFL for cornerbacks. One of the reasons is that he plays all over the field. Having the ability to play inside and outside and, and blitzing. Ryan Hurst! 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 Ryan
pick number 83 in the third round of the 2013 draft. He's played at the Patriots for three years, the Titans for two years, and at the point that this video came out, he must have been released, and now he's been picked up by the Giants. Two-time Super Bowl champion with the Patriots. 525 total tackles as of week 13, 2020. Um, let's get these pre-draft measurables here. Oh, so he's 181 at, at the pre-draft, not 180. So he's 5 foot 11 and 1 eighth of an inch. I'll give him that. 456 for the 40 yard dash. I'd say he uses every single millisecond of that within the game. 32 and a half inches in the vertical jump, 9 foot 8 in the broad jump, 9 foot 8 in the broad jump, 14 reps of the bench. You know, to be honest, I feel like he probably was just your average third round cornerback. The Patriots selected him in the third round of the 2013 draft. He was the 14th cornerback drafted in 2013. Now he's the 60th best player in the league seven years later. It's quite, a, it's quite a fair amount of time, to be honest. Seven years to be playing your trade. Now, let's find out what happened with his release. January the 4th, 2020, the Titans played in the wildcard round of the playoffs where they faced Ryan's former team, the New England Patriots. In the waning seconds of the game, with the Titans leading 14-13 and New England on their own one-yard line, Ryan intercepted a deflected pass from former teammate Tom Brady, which turned out to be Brady's final pass as a Patriot, as he would not return to the Patriots the following season. He returned it for a nine-yard touchdown. The score secured a 2013 upset, allowing the Titans to play in the divisional round of the playoffs for the second time in three years. In the divisional round against the Baltimore Ravens, Ryan recorded a team-high 13 tackles during the 28-12 road victory. And then, as we all know, the Titans did play against the Kansas City Chiefs in the final. Okay, so, the New York Giants. On September 5th, 2020, he signed a one-year $7.5 million contract with the New York Giants. Um, in week five against the Dallas Cowboys, he recorded a tackle on quarterback Dak Prescott that caused Prescott's right ankle to compound fracture. And just, he was the reason for Dak Prescott to be injured? Okay. Okay. Not many people would probably know that. They'd look at that and they'd think, oh, Dak Prescott's injured. Who actually made the tackle? Well, it was Logan Ryan. In week nine against the Washington football team, one day, against, one day after his wife suffered an ectopic pregnancy, Ryan recorded his first interception of the season off quarterback Alex Smith with less than two minutes in the fourth quarter to secure a 23-20 Giants win. Was that the first win of the Giants season? That may have been. No, no, the Giants are actually doing okay. They've got five wins. Maybe I was, sorry, I was thinking of the Jets. Sorry, I was thinking of the Jets. All right, guys, let's continue. He has quite a few picks too. Firing downfield, the ball is. I'm hoping that they tell us exactly why he was released. Logan Ryan. He's been doing that at a high level. I think this is year seven or eight for him, and for him to be doing that high level like that, uh, I definitely respect it. Logan Ryan did it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's a big time play. He's in his eighth season. See what could what could Landry have done better then? Could he have got a better release? Could he have faked him on the inside to really get him to go that way? Would it have even worked? Is Logan Ryan that good of a cornerback? Let's see. Landry, Landry's got a five yard off cut, but... Yeah, he didn't really give him anything. He just went to the left. You see how Landry was a little bit too far upfield. He lost Logan to undercut. That was a veteran, veteran play. Big play. That's what they remember the fourth quarter. Big time players. In the biggest game in decades for the Titans, their old foe bested an old goat. There we go. You read about this. Picks off. Picks off the pass, goes for a nine yard pick six. He wouldn't have known his luck. That's fucking sick. That really is sick. The coaches get behind the players. Now we still don't know why he was released, so I'm gonna go. Logan Ryan, I mean we all know who's next right, it was OBJ, um, Logan Ryan released from Titans. 
Cornerback Bids Farewell on Twitter remains one of the NFL's top available free agents. That was May 5th, 2020. It has been apparent for weeks. Logan Ryan made it official Tuesday. The veteran cornerback will not re-sign with the Titans. Big part of the community, he did not indicate where he was headed or whether or not he even knows. Um, he's been an unrestricted free agent since the start of the NFL's new contract year in March. He said to the Titans fans, thank you for all the love, the energy and support this past season is what led to an epic run. It looks as if the 29 year old coming off his best season to date, he's one of the top players still available. He set career highs in, in 2019, um, also had four interceptions, one short of his career high which made him the third defensive back in the last decade where, with at least four sacks, interceptions and forced fumbles in the same season. So clearly, he wanted to get paid the next year. He's been public with his desire for a contract that pays at least 10 million per season, which is what he made during his time with the Titans. Uh, he signed a three year 30 million deal with the Titans in 2017 and played 45 out of a possible 48 games over the past three years. Okay, so he's left, he's come to the end of his contract. They obviously haven't given him 10 million a season, which he's wanted. And then we did read that he signed with the Giants and he still didn't get his $10 million a season contract. He got $7.5 million for one year. Hmm, interesting. Alright guys, that's about enough of that. In the next one we're going to be looking at an old favourite, OBJ. It's been a fair few a fair few months since we've looked at, at OBJ, but for any of you guys who are searching out there, Rugby Player Reacts to OBJ or Odell Beckham Jr. or Rugby Player Reacts to the Cleveland Browns, these videos are going to come up. And I can't wait for you to watch. So thanks for watching guys. Peace out and I'll see you soon.